Hi, everyone. Thanks very much. I know lunch is soon, and I'm as hungry as anyone. Thanks very much for staying for this. I'll try and keep it as short as possible. I'm David, the co-founder and CEO of CAPE. Uh, in your gift bags, you have a little something from us. It looks like this. And inside is a micro SD card that can uh, turn your Odroid into a Wi-Fi sensor. Um, our regular product is a, uh, is a piece of hardware which we designed and built ourselves, plus a cloud-based dashboard. And what we did was we just ported the software that runs on this device to work on the Odroid. And the Odroid software is in beta, so please bear with us. But on the flip side, the only people anywhere to have access to it are the people in this room. So I'm going to talk a little bit about how to install the software and on your Odroid, and then go through the dashboard, and then talk a little bit about how it can help you in your daily life. So the first thing is with the Odroid, on the back, just remove the EMMC uh, chip, uh, and uh, that's the, it's the one with the uh, little red sticker you can see over there. And then plug in the micro SD card, uh, Wi-Fi module, Ethernet with, uh, with open internet access so it can download its settings, and power, preferably not battery power, something connected to, uh, to an outlet so that it, it can carry on testing and monitoring your Wi-Fi 24-7. Uh, the, the screen will stay blank, and try to put it on a network that doesn't have a captive portal, um, otherwise it's going to get blocked behind that, or you can whitelist it. So you plug in your Odroid, and then just go to capenetworks.com slash WLPC, put in your, the access code in, uh, on the inside of this, of this pack. Uh, you'll get a welcome email, and that'll take you to uh, a place where you can configure the SSID to use so you, you can uh, test that, uh, that network with, with your sensor. All right. Once that's on your network, it looks uh, just like any other client device. It acts just like any other client device. It associates with your, uh, with your access point. It goes through DHCP and DNS, and then it starts doing performance tests against uh, against services like Facebook or YouTube or Salesforce, and you can, you can add and edit those. And then it takes the uh, data that it collects do, doing those performance tests, uploads those to the cloud, and we display it on our dashboard. So let's go to a live demo. This is, this is the dashboard that, that you'll see. It doesn't look like any other dashboard that we've ever seen, and we designed it that way. It's designed specifically around the question, how are users experiencing Wi-Fi right now? And that's because we've spoken to a lot of IT managers who've told us that one of their challenges is that they get complaints like the Wi-Fi sucks or the Wi-Fi is broken again, and they don't really know where to start troubleshooting. They might not, be, might not all be you know, wireless LAN professionals uh, or experts. And, and so what this dashboard is designed to do is hone in on, on the various issues that, or the various areas that could cause a problem. Uh, a lot of people have referenced Lee's cocktail napkin, and, and those, those areas are, um, are, are exactly the areas that, that this dashboard hones in on. So the first is, the first traffic light on the left is your overall experience. If there are any sensors or any services experiencing an issue right now, that traffic light goes from green to yellow or red. At the moment, we've got two sensors on this dashboard, boardroom and workspace. And as you can see, there's, there's an issue affecting uh, the boardroom at the moment. These sensors, by the way, are uh, pretty much on the other side of the world in South Africa. Uh, and the data that we're getting from them is, uh, is in real time, or very, very close to real time with a second or two delay. The second traffic light is Wi-Fi. So if you have any RF-related issues, RSSI drops, or the SSID goes missing, that traffic light turns yellow or red. Likewise, with network, if there's an issue with DHCP or DNS, you see it there. And then on your, the last two traffic lights, internal and external, show the, your key services and applications 
that we're, uh, that, that we're testing. And if there's an issue with performance on those, like latency, jitter, or packet loss, or low throughput, then, then you see it there. So what we can do is hover over any one of these items and, and, and immediately see a little bit more about what's happening. So we've hovered over Jenkins, which is a, a service that, uh, that, uh, uh, that, that DevOps, um, that's useful for DevOps. And we can see that that's got high latency at the moment. We can hover over one of the, the sensors over here, and it shows us the, the status on the, of the last 24 hours when issues have occurred, uh, as well as a live view of some, some key metrics, like RSSI and bitrate. So this, this sensor is on a 5 gigahertz, and its bitrate is, is, is 90 megabits per second, even though the RSSI is not that, not that great. But this, uh, this other sensor is on 2.4, and even though its RSSI is really good, the, uh, the, the bit rate is pretty low. Well, what we can do is, is if you detect an issue and you start troubleshooting it, you can just mute it or suppress it with one click. And that turns the dashboard green, so it reduces the clutter while you are uh, working on, on a network and working on uh, resolving issues. So let's go through and drill down into one of the sensors. This is the boardroom sensor. You can see in the last 24 hours that there have been, that there have been some issues. And you can see below them all the, all the alerts and issues that have, that have occurred uh, that this sensor has encountered. There are Wi-Fi network and um, application performance metrics that you can drill into as well. For example, you can expand latency to see the latency for, you know, to every service that's been tested. Uh, you can download raw data that's powering this dashboard, so you can see the 24 hours of data in Excel and, uh, and the Wi-Fi environment, all the SSIDs and BSSIDs that the sensor can, can see, as well as information like you know, what are the data rates associated with those SSIDs. And lastly, you can change a whole lot of different uh, settings and configurations by, going, by clicking on the uh, config icon on the top right of the dashboard. You can change your thresholds, and it's really designed to be as easy to use as, as possible. So what we'd love to get your feedback uh, from your usage of the Odroid as a sensor. Uh, tell us what you like, what you'd like to see added. Uh, this is designed for IT managers that may not necessarily be as expert in wireless LANs as, as all of you. But that said, if you are managing a large network or remote branch offices uh, or multiple cl customers' networks, this could potentially help to reduce troubleshooting time, reduce site visits, uh, fix issues before customers complain, and to prove to your customers and, or to your boss that you're doing a good job, which is not always that easy to do. So the bottom line is you've, most of you have done the hard work around setting up uh, a great Wi-Fi network, doing all the uh, RF design and implementation perfectly. But a really great Wi-Fi network is one that has a great user experience and that users are happy. So I hope that this can help you Monitor that user experience and make sure that uh, your users are happy. Thank you. Great. Thanks. Uh, in addition, we actually have one of your sensors here. Mm. I'm going to pull the name out of the vault. Would you like to do the honors? Oh, go ahead. Huh? And uh, the specs on this? Uh, it's, it's a client. It acts like a client, but yeah. I'm guessing it's more sensitive than a client. It's a little bit more sensitive. We've done a, a bunch of tests. We try to align it with, um, with kind of like a, a, a MacBook Pro, uh, so that it isn't it, it it isn't like way more sensitive. Um, but yeah, I can I can give you the. And the winner is. Details. Martin Brennan. That's 